Okay, today I'm going to do a video. Those people that want to use this map viewer right here for an online web page, I'm going to show you how to do this in case anybody's having any problems. Um, it's very simple. First of all, we're going to go here and we're going to download the latest download map viewer. So let me go over here to my desktop. Let me create a new folder and we'll call this uh, uh, test map viewer. Alright, we're going to put it in here. Don't matter where you put it. Okay, and then we're going, to, once we got that done, I'm going to show you a view. This is what the map looks like. This is what you'll be able to do. Zoom in real close. Let me scroll over. You can see the roads, stuff like that. And this is a very nice map thing. We can go into flat mode, and it can show these. You can also see these uh, deed plots in uh, 3D mode too, but it wasn't activated on here whenever it was done and I'll show you how to do that this is flat, this is 3D flat 3D, yeah as you can see you can even see how the hills come up, we go in flat mode flattens it down 3D mode you can actually see where the hills are pretty much get a good uh, view of it, but this is what we're going to be doing we're going to be taking this viewer and we're going to be putting our own map on it and I'm going to show you how to do this. Now some of this can get confusing and you could mess up real easy so visual is just always the best way. So basically it says to extract the contents of the zip file. So, did I download it already? Um, let see, I put it on my desktop. Let me find my folder over here. Okay here's our thing okay what it's telling us right now once we got it downloaded it says extract the contents of the zip folder okay let's extract them. okay this is our, our stuff I don't need this because I got it somewhere else on the machine but we can actually get rid of that file now so we're going to delete it okay now what it says is edit the map viewer CFG that's this folder right here configure the file to reflect your warm unlimited and web server setup alright I'm gonna show you how to do this from your stuff on the desktop so basically first of all we need to get our server folders now I already have mine so I'm gonna open this up another window this is where I back up even though the server I back up on the server I back up the server on my hard drive as well um, so basically I'm going to go right here and I'm going to take this right here I'm going to go in here I'm going to right click at the top and I'm going to say copy address I'm going to go over here and open this up you can open it up with notepad but I, I like notepad plus plus and let's bring this over here let's close these out right there okay and what you want to do it says here it wants the path to the directory for the map. So right here we're going to go in here, we're going to take that out right there and we're going to paste this in. Now it wants a path to where we want the output. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a new folder where we extract all that at. I'm just going to call this uh, map dump. Alright, so we're going to open it up and then we're going to right click up here and we're going to say copy address. We're going to go back over here and we're going to take this little part out right here and we're going to paste that in there so that's where we're going to dump it now right here if you want to see that deed borders around in 3d view you'll want to put true in here All right, now we can save this file and we're done with this file we don't need that no more now all we got to do is just click on this jar and let it run its course and it's going to make a temp folder and in here it's going to start generating your files for your map now if you do this procedure just like this this is how you it's going to work for you and it'll work perfectly then you can upload everything in this file right here you can upload to with FTP to your website and you can actually have this on a website now I'll even show you 
I've already got mine on my own personal website from my own server and I'll show you that after I'm done here. So once all this stuff is done here, just give it a few minutes. You might see the files come in, but that don't mean the program is done in the background. Okay, we'll assume it's done now. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this index HTML, which is going to open our page. And this is the page of my map. That's how simple it is. And you can use an FTP or cPanel or PHP. You can uh, use that to put this up in your own website. So I'm going to go to my own website for my server. And this is my online map. And basically, we can scroll all the way in down here. We can look all the way down in here. See in the place. But I hope this video helped you, and good luck.